and uh, we're back. Welcome, welcome to... I just lost a picture. Uh, yeah, welcome to IndyCar Racing 2. Well, wait, wait a second, something's missing. I don't have any music in the background. That's weird. I didn't come to think of it because lately, like, there's been a uh, Grand Prix 3 where there's music in the background. So now it's just my voice. Hello, chat. Hello, everybody. Great to see you here. Friedrich Bang is back in the USA and he is once again trying to survive in IndyCar. Oh, yes. This is going to be mad. A hardcore season. Um, yeah, we're, we're starting the season here today and it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, let's go and check out the options before we start. Controls, obviously I'm using my racing wheel. I have also uh, uh, gone through the trouble of binding the keys uh, into my racing wheel so I can adjust the boost and the roll bars and the brake bias from the racing wheel because I found that, at least in Miami, that's something you absolutely uh have to do if i take my eyes on off the road and look at the keyboard then i'm instantly dead but yeah realism race length of course 100 percent car damage realistic so there are three options arcade none and realistic and everybody was yelling me to pick the arcade because the realistic is uh, mental but i'm going to choose the realistic damage anyways because this is this is a hardcore season. Breakdowns, which means basically that the car may suffer uh, an, uh, me a mechanical failure. It's it's on, of course. Yellow flags on. Pace lap on. Weather random. So there's there are the the uh, settings. Opponents. This is where I give myself a, li a little bit of slack. The opponent strength is currently 95%. Uh, that actually doesn't tell a whole lot because the opponent strength very much varies depending on what car set you're using and uh, which tracks you're using and stuff like that. But I found that at least for, for Miami, 95% is, is more than enough of challenge for me because I can't go flat out all the time. Uh, I, my driving has to be extremely conservative because of the simulation damage. Otherwise, once again, we're, we're dead. Uh, driving aids. Manual, manual, no spin recovery, of course. Graphics, well, they are all, all the, the pump to the max because I have a supercomputer from the future done. And we're going to start our season. No, I'm not doing arcade damage. Realistic car damage. Definitely realistic. Uh, so if we make a mistake, we're going to be punished and then we will go home. <laughs> Let's start the, the the season. New season, please. Override safe season. I, I did some, some experiments with the, with the thing. Oh, let's actually, before we go here, check out the driver info. It's of course Friedrich Bang, who's driving car sports racing. I don't know if that's even a real team. Team, I don't know uh, anything about IndyCar. So yeah, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Uh, but yeah, I'm using a car set uh, from 1995. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link to the video description uh, where you can find this car set with all the all the real drivers there they are I'm not going to go through all of those guys the car shape is this I, I think this is the standard car shape isn't it that's what I thought at least but anyway there there we have that and uh, yeah thank uh, I meant to say thank you to Taka Harvey who's been helping me with the game uh, as I said, I'm a noob to IndyCar racing uh, the, uh, too. Uh, I, this is like the first time I've started playing this game. 
I s some for some reason I I kind of missed it in the 90s, but never too late, I suppose. New season, override saved season, and we're headed to Miami. Bicent uh, Bicentennial Park, and we're going to jump straight into the qualifying. I will load a setup with the qualif Miami. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, sh should be interesting to see how how competitive we are. Actually, let me put just the. No, I think seven gallons will be fine. I will probably be more competitive in the qualifying than in the race because obviously in the, in the qualifying I can go flat out, but in 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 race I, I'll have to be very conservative because of the this is a very very realistic simulation damage. Was there something I forgot to mention? Probably, but who gives a damn? Uh, the Pit lane speed limit is 80 miles per hour, so I don't think it matters in, in the qualifying, but let this guy go. The first turn is magnificent, I really enjoy it. Then we're, we, we head to the into the chicane, which is very, very difficult. The biggest issue that I have with the chicane is that I haven't really found a very good braking marker for it. So it's like, okay, I will break here-ish. And that's always bad. It's very easy to make, make, make a mistake while braking. And let's start concentrating for our flying lap. First flying lap, I, I'm sure it won't be very fast. Not the best first corner. Oh, I missed the apex. This, oh, you're, you're breaking my balls, man! That was a lap ruined. Okay, let's try it again. Damn it, once again I missed the apex. It's very tricky at the first turn. P23 at the moment. I know I can do better than that. With a perfect lap, I, I think I can't get the pole here. Better. Not perfect, but better. P5! That was pretty good. Oops. And that's probably damage. It's very easy. If you just scrape the wall a little bit. 
it's like instantly dam there's damage. I fell down to sixth now. I know I can still improve. That was not good. Oh, boost wide. I think we have still enough fuel for one more lap. P3! That's pretty good. Okay, there's the chicane for you. And now it's like this... Austin Powers thing then. There we go. Okay, P3, that's not too too bad. I'm ready with a very fast lap in the pole position. I know that you know I can't get to the trees if if I if I get a very good lap, but I don't know if we have time anymore. We need to go get some fuel. I'm quite happy with with P3 though. And as said in 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 race, uh, I'm not going to be as competitive because I I need to play it safe. Hello, boys. Vrijek is back. Okay, they are actually putting way too much fuel in because I forgot to set, set it up. Let's cheat. Let's just load the the setup again. No, not that one. Q. Done. Um, four gallons should be plenty enough for doing a couple of laps. Resume. Wait, why do we once again have 40 gallons of fuel? Why? Come on, you idiot. Load. Q. Done. And you know, the fuel. Oh man, I'm all over the place. I'm very tired, by the way, once again. I have had a very long day today, so, so th this might be bad. Okay, now we have 4 gallons of fuel. And three minutes of time. Oops, I accidentally speed it in the pits, but I forgive myself. You don't get any penalties if you do it in qualifying. So yeah, obviously the AI in IndyCar Racing 2 is completely from an another planet compared to IndyCar Racing 1. In my opinion, IndyCar Racing 1 in, in many ways is, is kind of a failed game. I mean, the physics are very advanced, but you know, the racing, racing is it's not good at all. We are in a in traffic, which is not optimal. But we'll see what we can do. Okay! This time I managed to find the apex in the first turn. So that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Dead. But we're done. Done for the qualifying then. 
Seems that on Red Sea, let's. You, we can't uh, accelerate the time, it seems. But yeah, I think that's enough. Let's check out the standings. Mm, can you like like ac accelerate the time in qualifying, or is it just like you advance to the next session when you're done? We'll be starting from from P uh, three, if that's the case. I know Villeneuve will be very fast in the race. Taka Harvey says no, you can't. So that's it. We will continue to the next session and to the next session. And this is the race standings. Yeah, we will be starting from P3. So that's a very good qualifying. Tube Sheffer, uh, IndyCar Racing 2 is 1995. Obviously, you can mod it to have any season but this is 1995 we're doing here let's load our setup I'm by the way using custom setups that came with the track I haven't done anything to this so if you download this track you'll you'll probably find these setups in the in the setup folder there there are only, only things that I changed was the wheel lock it's I uh, increased it to 30 percent and uh, did I do something else I don't, not that I remember. But yeah, let's go. Wish me luck. The first goal here is to survive the face lap. Here we go. As for strategy, I think this race will be a two stopper. But we'll have to do some fuel management have to be very careful don't follow the AI too closely because they they might do some interesting things in the pace lap They're very careful in the in the chicane because there's oh man there's just no room there it's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, we'll have to do some fuel management. But I'll, I'll start with maximum boost and see how, how things settle down and then we'll start managing the fuel. I, I, I think it's, it's smarter to manage the fuel at the beginning of the race. Because then if there's a caution you kind of gain back the time that you lost. While whilst saving fuel, I might be wrong though. Oh man, I'm very nervous. The simulation damage, any little bump will probably end your race. Even the the pace lap is like nerve wracking. Okay, let's start get to get ready. Okay. Green flag. We're on our way. Oh, one red is very slow. I don't know why. Oh man, this is this is nerve wracking. He's in the chicane now. Okay, let's calm down. Easy does it. Very easy. Is pulling away. 
and there's kind of a train of cars be behind us. The issue is that now, now I think we should start saving fuel, but I'm too scared about these guys behind me. I'm very slow in the chicane, but I, I just have to play it safe, otherwise, like, sooner or later, I'll, I'll crash. It's a very, very busy track, so I don't have any time to look at the chat or anything. I will try to lower the boost a little bit here. I'll go to boost 7. So that will make me vulnerable against attacks, but I, I kind of have to start managing the fuel if I want to, to stop the race. This might be a mistake, but we'll see. hope I won't get attacked in the chicane because it just can't go through there too wide. We have no pace whatsoever against Andretti. Hopefully I'll be stronger later in the race, but this is kind of the situation at the moment. My keyboard is, is falling. Oh, almost hit the wall. these guys guys back who are behind us but that's quite all right as long as they don't do any stupid dive bombs Seven seconds behind Andretti. The 
first sector is very bad for me. Now as we're, we're kind of running on fuel management mode, it's, it's even harder. Friedrich Bang Train! Friedrich is not making any friends. Hope you boys are having fun in the chat. We're still alive. That's good. Oh, that was a very good, good turn. Gives me a little bit of breathing room for the... Okay, now... Johansson right on our tail. Still alive. Pay no attention to the mirrors. There's nothing there. Friedrich Bang is wrecking everybody's race and, and making unread this race here. Okay, now I made a mistake. Just concentrate. This is not my favorite position to be. 82 laps to go. Kind of lost my rhythm there. Johansson right on our tail again, but he's having trouble getting by, which is fine for me. Frederick Bang train. Okay, that was a very good final sector. Would love to see the fuel calculations, but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm just too busy because I haven't. Uh, I I I, have, I don't have them in my racing wheel. I would have to watch them uh, to, uh, like from my uh, keyboard, and I can't take my eyes off the roads. 
I'm too scared. Thing is, if we can like stretch the first tint, then we can overcut these other guys because running with with a light car is is very beneficial here. Oh man, well, I was quite a bit on the limit in the in the chicane there. What I, I learned from my practice races, if the AI goes for an overtake in the chicane, then you're screwed. Because there's pretty much no way you can make the chicane too wide. And then they just push you into the wall and that's race over. something happened behind us. Johansson dropped. There, there was a pass there. Brian Hertha currently behind us. Wonder he, if he's faster or slower than Johansson. Oh, don't hit the wall. That was way too close. Guys are probably giving me very good advice in the, in the chat, which I can't read. So, so it will be fun to watch after the race. Oh, you idiot! Don't do that! Your strategy is wrong. Or something. Oh my god, I almost lost the rear in the fast right-hander. That was very close. If you do that, you're dead. I think I need to soften the rear rear bar a little bit because the car is getting a little bit skatey. trying to do that but I failed for some reason it didn't change it doesn't change it uh, it's there's like something wrong it does the it did it for the okay we'll add just the front anti roll bar there I don't know what's going on with my key bindings the kind of problems that you don't want to have in the middle of a race Johansson once again in our tail. We're 17 seconds behind Andretti. At this rate he will lap the entire pack.
Seems that the AI is pretty bad at making moves. Everybody is stuck behind Friedrich Bang. Who's just saving fuel and being overall very slow. Still, Fabi behind us. He, he's, he seems kind of racy. Like, if they go for it, I'm not going to fight back very hard because, like, uh, my my goal in this race is to finish finish the race. That's like, if I finish the race, I'd be happy. If I get a point or two, I will be even happier. And it's, it's going to be very hard. I did some practice races and, and I wasn't... I didn't finish any of them. My record was... I think I got to lap 60 out of 90 before I crashed. So if you see me finishing this race today, it will be the first time. At this stage, I, I, I am kind of predicting that, because we're managing the fuel, I don't know if the AI is or not. I'm guessing they're not managing the fuel. They are also faster than me, because their, their cars are starting to get lighter. So, oh dear, almost spun. Let's see here. 73 laps to go. Oh man. Oh god. Yeah, he decided to overtake me there he decided to overtake me there and I knew knew that that that's it now we have a bunch of damage to the car let's just try to get to the pits hopefully it will be fixed that's Jack Villeneuve isn't it sorry can we get a caution please no Caution would be nice now. That escalated quickly. I think he also has got some damage and I have a very annoying fly in my office. Okay, we'll go to the fix. Uh, go to the pits and, and fix the car. That was a shame. Turbo failure! No! No! My turbo died! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, God. Can... could we just, like, limp into the pits? I don't think they, they are able to fix the car. Even if we could. It's still moving. It's still moving. 
But this is terminal damage, I'm sure. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. <laughs> We're still moving somehow. Four miles an hour. I don't know how. Uh, weird sounds. Okay, here we go. Yeah, press ESC. <sighs> so that was the first race in our hardcore season. How high was the turbo pressure? I don't know, I was running on like turbo boost 7. Oh man. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Well, that's hardcore season for you. Uh, uh, let's check out. I'm not going to switch to arcade damage. Plus, uh, even if I would switch to, ar to arcade damage, then like the uh, what's it call it? The the you know you can take the breakdowns off even if you are using the the simulation damage. I want to see the incident that we had in the chicane. There's our little problem with Jacques Villeneuve. Like, this is pretty much impossible here. Let's see if we can get a good angle. He decides to overtake me in the chicane. And what happens there is that they don't leave you any room if you if they overtake you in the chicane. So so they basically push you into the tire barrier. And uh, then I was pretty much stuck here. And once I finally decided to go, it was. Uh, Bobby Ray Hall. I think I, we had some incidents with Bobby Ray Hall in IndyCar Racing 1 as well, didn't we? So yeah, he, he hit us. But yeah, the chicane is very difficult and, and... Okay, I went too far. Chicane is pretty, pretty damn difficult if the AI decides to pass you. And I think, like, my... My my mistake was that I was running on low turbo settings still because that gave the uh, opponent uh, the the AI the the opportunity to to go for a pass here with f full turbo turbo boost I don't think it would have happened. Yeah, that's that sucks. Theo Fabi. I mean, a clean overtake from him, but you know, in, impossible to navigate through the chicane side by side. So yeah, a great overtake. But unfortunately, it's well. You know, we 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 weren't, we weren't dead. I mean, that was the kind of damage we had—a damaged wheel after this incident. As you can see, there's no way to go side by side from there. After this incident, we only had wheel damage. Maybe a little bit of suspension damage and also the front wing was bent, but that was all fixable. I mean, the car would have been probably a little bit, well, not so great to drive, but it was fixable. But then, then the turbo, turbo happens.
this is the moment when I when my turbo exploded so that was that was the end of the race that's sad that's very sad very unfortunate managed to, to get to the pits but it's obviously not fixable in, in this game unlike in the Grand Prix series even if your car is completely annihilated and you you somehow get to the pits they'll fix anything but in this game they don't so that's it so yeah that's 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 sad I was having uh, hopes that to have a good race but obviously it didn't happen let's accelerate the time and let's chat with the chat hello chat I am now available for the chat This is what makes following Friedrich Bang so compelling. Ha! Ah, indeed. You never know what you gotta get. Friedrich Bang. Like a box of chocolate. Hello, Federico. Robbie, I haven't had a chance to watch your hardcore uh, race in Grand Prix Legends in Monaco. No spoilers. I, I, I think I have time to watch it tomorrow. So no no spoilers. I don't think I'm going to uh, do testing for Surfers Paradise. I think we'll have a short race in Miami. Hello, Randy from Canada. Lots of fans from Canada. Yes, that's that's fantastic. I always like I'm probably wrong but I always like feel that Canada is a bit like Finland except a lot bigger with mountains Uh, I see Taka Harvey said that there might be a fix to the damage model. I don't know what you were talking about there. Michael Andretti has lost his lead. Slap 33, oh, that's probably because of the pit stop things. No, he just pitted. Okay, Theo Fabi seems to be very fast today. Alanzer Jr. Okay, Theo Fabi takes the lead back after Alanzer Jr. pits. Oh, this isn't the original car shape. Okay. Then I perhaps downloaded something that I wasn't aware I was downloading. Yeah, we have to wait for the race to end because it's 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 pretty pretty damn long. I mean I don't know why but the accelerated time in IndyCar Racing 2 is very slow. I don't know if there's a way to, to make it faster but I wonder why these the guys have reasons why they DNF'd like wheel bearing or electrical or engine with Friedrich Bang it just did not finish <laughs> we we had actually a turbo failure so that there was a reason for our DNF hello Jake great to see you in the chat I noticed that you were posting some comments before but I couldn't read them just took a glance did not start very well this one your thumbnail needs to show it's the 1995 season okay I kind of took it for, for granted because like it's the standard season in IndyCar racing but you're probably right I don't know where to fit it though So much stuff that you have to squeeze into the thumbnail. I don't like it.
Perhaps you were running were a bit too high and that's what blew the turbo. Okay. Because I I thought that the, the mechanical failures were, were random, but apparently it's like, you know, as I'm new to, to the game, so it's all new information for me. So, like, I was, I, I thought I was uh, switching gears when when the light came up, but it, was it like uh, the gearing was wrong then? Theo Fabi retired. Gearbox failure. Yeah, because I thought that the mechanical failures were just random. Run D, uh, no, actually the, the wheel is uh, not as realistic as in Grand Prix 2 or 3 or 4. I think the, the wheel resolution is fine, but it's, the steering is kind of vague, it's, it's, it's kind of blurry. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult to be consistent in this sim compared to the, uh, the Grand Prix series, where, where it's very, very accurate, the steering. So, it takes a lot. To get used to driving this. Okay, Jake, thanks for the info. Um, I did a lot of practice racing with the with the same setups, and and also the, the I, I pretty much I I think I was using the same revs, but. I, I didn't get any any failures, but I'm sure like it's it's a probability thing. John Tearing, yeah. Uh, the problem that that I have with modern sims is the the AI because it's like it's not fun to race against AI. I think the best uh, best AI you can find from. Grand Prix 2, Grand Prix 3, Grand Prix 4, maybe. Uh, the AI in IndyCar Racing 2 is al also alright, but you know, it's it's not quite the same because it, it, it doesn't obey the same lo uh, laws of physics as the player, so sometimes it really does some very weird things and it kind of breaks the immersion, but it's, it's still fun to race against. Let's uh, check out the, the current standings. Alonso Jr. very fast. Fittipaldi, Johansson, Andretti, Tracy. Jacques Villeneuve still in the race, even though he collided with Friedrich Bang. And uh, do I remember correctly, it's the top 12 that get points, or is it the top 10 in the 1995 IndyCar season? I think, like, I haven't done oval racing in IndyCar Racing 2 yet, but what I've heard is that in oval racing, it's, uh, the steering is better and the AI is, is better. Yeah, top 12 get points. Thank you, Takaharvi. By the way, Lahustaja and Takaharvi, at least, there might be someone else, but I don't know if you get, got any, any notifications, but you are now moderators of the chat. Because last time when we did the Grand Prix 3 race, there was a spam bot in the chat advertising for some hot girls. Uh, so yeah, I, I decided that I need some some uh, moderators into the chat. And I, I think also Robbie is a moderator. RJ asks, who was the last race driver who raced in IndyCar before moving to F1? I don't know. Takaharvi probably does. Yes, your spanner means you're a mod. 
Also, you should have fixed my car when it broke with your spanner. Sebastian Bourdet. Okay. I haven't been following F1 very closely. Like, I. What's the news? And, and you know, I know who's, who's winning the title and, and what's the situation in the championship. But some, for some reason, I, I don't, no longer get excited of it. Although the, the current season is very exciting, but I haven't had time to figure out how to watch it because I don't want to buy the the channel that shows it in Finland because then you get all the other crap that I don't I don't have time to watch and I don't like to watch streams because they are laggy and all that I do have VPN so my, maybe I could watch it from some other channel. Little Al is winning the race. Stefan Johansson very close behind, but not enough. The, this final lap and the Czech red flag is there. And Alonso Jr. wins. Stefan Johansson, Fittipaldi, Andretti, Bobby Rahal, Vassar. Oops. Okay, here are the, the final results then. Villeneuve 7th, Hertha. Paul Tracy, Gordon, Cheever, and Pruett, the top 12. Yeah, F1 TV, I don't know if it's coming to Finland, because the, now there's another channel with another contract of F1, so I don't know if they can... Is, is it, like, possible for F1 TV to come to Finland if they have another contract with another company? So yeah, these are, these are the results. Bad race for Friedrich Bang, unfortunately, but this time I guess we can say that it w might be not our fault that we retired because it was a mechanical failure. But yeah, we're done. And there's Friedrich's car being lifted away even though he made to the pits. Yes. And yeah, these are the standings, and I suppose you just exit as you do, and that saves the season, I, I hope. Yes. Season standings, Frederick Bank, 21st, without any points. So Alanzer Jr. in the lead. And then, then these are these are the current standings. No, I uh, will do a short race in Miami just to uh, kind of fake it so that like it's not uh, not 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 uh, you know to to make it look like a long stream after if people watch it later. Uh, we will do, let's say, a 20% race. Should be fun. With all the same settings. Done. Done. Miami. Next session. It, it's going to be 18 laps. And I'll start, start from the back. Let's... I think 35 gallons should be... Well, let's actually load the setup. Don't forget to back up the season.bin file. I actually, every time after a race, I back up the entire game folder. <laughs> I leave nothing to chance. Uh, did I load the setup? I got confused. Miami and fuel, let's... 35 gallon should be... Let's see, I think it's a little bit too much for an 18 lap race, isn't it? Let's reduce it a little bit. 30 gallons. Should be enough, right? Welcome to the Miami Sprint Race. Let's try to have a, have a fun race.
We have streamed for one hour now, so we actually need at least half an hour of of, of streaming before we can call it quits. Apparently my key bindings for the rear roll bar are working. I perhaps just was pressing the wrong wrong button. <coughs> Same here, Robbie, I also use Google Google Drive to back up my game folders. I don't know how far we're going to get in, in 18 laps, but we'll see. Let's go to full turbo, green flag, kind of missed the, missed the start there. I'm a bit scared. That is an overtake of Hiro Matsuhita. Oh my god. That was interesting. Oh dear. Side by side. Easy there, boys. Okay, how about a dive bomb? Okay, that works. I'm I'm driving like a lunatic now. P25. Let's see if we can get get up to the points. Okay, you should not overtake here. Oh, I actually overtook two cars there. It's so easy when there's no pressure of a, of a hardcore race. You can do anything you want and it usually works, but if I was to try that in, in a hardcore race, then like, like dead instantly. Somebody is having problems. I went into the pits. Revving the engine again. B 
This is fun. This is a lot of fun. And that's a caution, somebody's out. We like save fuel during the caution. Let's see here. Mileage. No, we should actually burn as much fuel as we can because we have way too much fuel. Although it doesn't really matter when you're going very slowly. Let's just do that as well. Yeah, I, I took way too much fuel. It's easier to actually start from the back when you can just overtake other cars. I pretty much know where you can overtake and where you shouldn't. Although I did do some overtaking where I shouldn't have, but... Either way, it's easier, e easier to do, do like that, because when, when the AI is, is attacking you from behind, it's, it's a lot more stressful, especially as, as you saw when they decide to overtake you in the chicane it's it's very difficult to survive anyone who's joining the stream <coughs> at this point let it be known that this is a meaningless little sprint race our hardcore race ended because of a turbo failure we also had a couple of incidents just before that, but in the end it was a mechanical failure that ended our race. could like go back racing already I've like it's enough how by the way how come we are 50 seconds behind the leaders we've been going behind this a pace car pretty long now okay now it's 35 at the chat might very well crash because of that <coughs> hello team We've had some good races lately. In, in NASCAR racing, we got P4 in our hardcore race. We have two consecutive wins in Grand Prix 3, so I guess it was too much to ask to get another good result. This time in IndyCar racing 2, which was basically my 
first real race in IndyCar Racing 2. I didn't, as I said before, I didn't play play this in the 90s when it came out because I didn't have a powerful enough computer to run the game. Uh, and then finally when I got a powerful enough computer, I the Grand Prix 2 was out. Ah, oops. I was a bit stupid. I don't think we'll... We'll have... We have a, a front wing anymore. We'll need to, like, pit. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. Wait a second, now... Yeah, we have damage. We have damage. But how much? Well, pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's 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 so bad, we, we, we will need to fix this. We'll need to fix the car, unfortunately, otherwise... Otherwise, things are bad. I wasn't concentrating, and, and you know, you, in this game you should concentrate even under under caution. I'm hoping that the caution... Yeah, no. <laughs> I was saying hopefully the caution will last, but no. So we are under green and we'll drop to dead last. That's too bad. Come on. Now we'll need another caution if we want to overtake anyone in this race. was a shame. Okay, and they didn't actually get the car probably properly fixed because it's it drives pretty badly. I think what what I'll do is I'll soften the front anti roll bar a little bit. The car seems to be pushing. At least we're not a lap down. Let's see if we can catch somebody. Oh man. I'm all over the place now. That was very fast. We 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 need to win Matsuhita at least. Pretty far away. Fresh 
Frederick Bang battling at, against Hiro Matsuhita. Does that sound familiar to you? I thought that was a very good lap, but I, I wasn't able to, like, gain on the leaders at all. Stupid mistake because the the race was going well and we did some pretty epic overtakes. Bobby Ray Hall out, so that's a position. I would like to get one position by overtaking someone as well. But only only seven laps left. Well, nine seconds to Matsuhita. I should have picked a longer longer race than than 20%. If this was a full race, there would be plenty enough time to recover from this fight. Like even 10 more laps, it would be a lot more interesting. Hero I'm overdriving it a little bit. Past this guy, then apparently here. I've never passed anyone here, but now I did. 24th. Can we get to Salazar as well? If someone is joining the stream right now, let it be known once again that this is not the real race. The real hardcore race ended, oops, with a mechanical failure and that should be damage. It was a pretty heavy hit. We had a turbo failure 
and, and we retired. Which was very sad. Seems that we don't have any damage because the car drives very well. So that's surprising. Oops. But other than that, I'm pretty severely off pace when it comes to the leaders. I think I've lost like 10 seconds against them during the stint. Three laps to go. We're four seconds behind Salazar. I think we can catch him. That was a bit scary. I wonder if I'm still over revving the car. I think there there is damage to the car because it's kind of feels kind of weird after all. with the gears. Another bump to the wall, that's not good. I'm trying a bit too hard. Are there like one or two laps left? Oh, one lap left. This is pretty stupid. Yeah, it was it was stupid. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what happens if you try to overtake in the chicane. Ha ha ha! Oh man. Yeah, that's the end of that race. I want to see the 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 replay. That's exactly what they do if you try to go side by side into the hairpin. That's like like I was I I, I wanted to so show you that what happens. Like I'm I'm true, I'm like free to go, but no plonk. There we go. And dead. In a hardcore race I would never try to overtake here. That's for sure. Blanc. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think I think we have we've had enough uh, abandoned race. I think we're going to it's the o Australia next in the championship season. Continue. Yeah, o Australia. Let's do some practicing in Australia, shall we?
Surfer's Paradise actually let's just go into preseason testing. Uh, it's a track that I know from IndyCar Racing 1, but uh, it's, it's quite a bit different in IndyCar Racing 2 and I don't really remember remember a lot. I'll just pick the Ace setup and suspension wheel lock and 30 degrees done. Bye Chris, nice to have have you with us. Next up it's going to be Grand Prix 3, I think. I don't remember anything. Let's take that box away. It's quite a bit different than in IndyCar Racing 1, that's for sure. I think I broke a little bit too late. Yeah, and this is of course custom version, this is made by Pavel. I am using all the best tracks that are avail avail available, mostly, of course, made by Pavel. The IndyCar Racing 2 modding legend. Okay, maybe I should like reduce the damage while while I'm I'm, I'm training because you know it's just um, let's put it uh, in the arcade so we actually have to have to like be a little bit careful but. Let's try to complete a lap. Yeah, thank you, Esko Shao. Uh, I know I heard about the the new tracks by Pavel, uh, and uh, and I'll, I'll certainly. Oh man, take a look at look at those. Well, man, the arcade damage it's it's really forgiving, honestly. I'm not concentrating anymore and you know it's just, I'm just wasting time here to make the stream longer to, so that people who join or, or, or watch the, the stream afterwards on YouTube think that, oh, it's long stream, he, he must have done very well, I will watch the whole thing and then it's like, okay, crash I'm looking at the chat as I'm driving Probably not the best idea. I need 
to address the setup. The car feels very unbalanced under braking. So yeah, this is the arcade damage. In simulation damage, I, I would be like dead already. That would have been a fatal suspension failure. I'm sure it's a lot more fun to r drive like this, but we're not here for the fun. We're here for the horror and death. Yeah, that's legit. Looking at the chat once again. I had I have good memories of this track in IndyCar Racing One. We actually win, uh, won our our race here. Got a very good start for the season, and I was very optimistic. That, oh, this is going to be fun! It was a good race as well. Like it was, I I didn't walk away with the win. It was a lot of things happened in the race, and and if I recall, it was a, quite a close finish as well. But, you know, that season was completely downhill from there. I mean, the AI was very good in IndyCar racing. They were pretty good in, in Australia. Compared to the other tracks. I mean, in Australia they also did some pretty damn weird things. But as long as you knew what... Yeah, I, I don't know. Nobody wants to like watch shit like this, right? So let's just call, call it quits. Yeah, I'll quit now. I should practice by myself because it's just like I'm not concentrating anymore and it's just... Me is sucking. Nobody wants to watch me sucking. tailpipe or something I don't know I don't know anyway thanks everybody for for sticking with with this uh, sorry about the bad race uh, bad luck this time with the mechanical failure but shit happens hopefully we'll have a better race in Australia next up I, I think I'll do Grand Prix 3 and what my plan is that it's not going to stick of course but my plan kind of is that I will do every other race uh, Papyrus stuff and every other race Grand Prix 3 and uh, that way we can move on with, with things uh, this will be a long season it will be it'll take like at least a year to complete if not more but you know we have time hopefully unless if we all die then we don't have I, yeah, it's uh, Hangaro Ring in Grand Prix 3. I'm looking forward for that because every time Friedrich Bang has gone to Hangaro Ring, he has won. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens this time. We have two consecutive wins in uh, Grand Prix 3, so hopefully we can we can stretch in that with one more victory. And still, like, cling into our championship dreams, which are pretty much dead. Well, look, look at those lines. Pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you once again in the next race. Take care. Bye-bye.